Right, so if you want to create your own food product label and you want to do it for a fraction of what it has been costing you to have someone else print it, I'm going to show you a website, onlinelabels.com, and the software where you can create your own food product label for literally pennies on the dollar. And I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how I do it in-house here, and we're going to get to that right now. Alright, so this is Damien from Marketing Food Online, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Now, this video, I am actually going to show you an amazing software program and a website for some fantastic resources to get labels at a ridiculously amazing price. And the ability to do it yourself, and you don't have to be a world-renowned graphic designer. They actually have some pre-made templates on their website that you can literally customize for your food product. Now I'm gonna give you seven specific steps in order to do this and I'm gonna walk you through an actual live uh, presentation on how this feature works and we're gonna dive right into it. So when you get your online labels.com, create yourself a website or website, create yourself a an account with their website um, and it's absolutely free to do that. Now the thing with uh, online labels is you definitely need to purchase their labels in order for um, the Maestro program to work, which is their computer software, their software program that allows you to create the label itself. So in order for that to work, you can't use Avery, you can't use other brands. You have to use online labels, okay? And then once you place an order for your product and you get it, there is an activation code. You have to activate that, and that'll give you direct access to uh, the Maestro. There it is, label designer. On the left-hand side, you simply click on that icon and it's going to bring you up to their program. Now, I'll give you some basics on how this, what all of this is that you see on your screen and then I'm going to get more detailed into how to create your own label. Now, like I said before, there's seven steps. The first step before I begin to even show you any of this, and this is ultra important, this is a question I get from a lot of subscribers who are creating a food product from scratch for the first time, you have to know your package shape and size, okay? Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, that's kind of Seems kind of uh, elemental and kind of basic, Damon. Of course I know. Well, there's a lot of times before you order a label, you really need to know the dimensions, know where on your actual physical product that your label's going to go. It's ultra important because it's going to be the determining factor on basically, the obviously, the label you're going to buy. Okay? So know your package shape and size. Measure it even. Measure it with a, a ruler. Find it out, see exactly if you're looking for a rectangular, a square, a round, any of those, and make sure that the dimensions are correct, okay? I've had a lot of people who say, well, I ordered some labels, I got it home, and I started to print up some labels, and it was completely too big. Well, that's the purpose that you really kind of need to know the size, okay? Now, number two, finding the right label, size, material, and finish. Now, one of the amazing things about... Um, online labels is the fact that they have thousands upon thousands upon literally thousands of different labels. But not only do they have different sizes and shapes, but they also have different materials. Some of the labels are actually made with different types of materials for different purposes, believe it or not. Um, if you're using a plastic bottle that may be in a refrigerator and could sweat or perspire or in a freezer setting, you have to make sure you get the right material of the label as well. And the finish. Do you want it matte? Do you want it glossy? Do you want like a semi-gloss surface to it? Some of them are neon colored. So the, all of those aspects you need to also keep in mind as well. Now, let's hop into this really quick and then I'm going to jump back into the list of seven, uh, seven steps really quick. While I pull this up on the screen, I want to show you. So on the left-hand side here, you could design a new label. This is uh, the option that if you are looking to do your own label, and you have a design from scratch, or maybe you have a little bit of graphic design experience, go ahead and knock yourself out. This can give you blank templates, okay? Or you could go to pre-designed templates. Now, this video specifically is going to be about the pre-designed templates, all right? So let's hop into that. Now, you've got the drop-down menu here. This, by the way, just really quick, is the blank templates. This is going to basically show you all of the different shapes and sizes, and up here, is where you would actually put the label number, the stock number, which is always going to start with a O and an L, O L, and then the number following that will be the stock number for that specific label. 
That's of course blank templates if you want to start from scratch. So let's hop into this amazing template designer. <clears throat> so as I mentioned before, you're gonna have the ability to <clears throat> create any type of label using their pre-existing templates without having to be, you know, Michelangelo or, or Van Gogh here. You don't have to be very creative. You just plug in the information. They do the creativity for you with these pre-made templates. It is a fantastic and a time-saving way to print labels. Now, as you look to the left here, as I scroll down, you'll, you'll notice all of these different types and different variations. So these are the different categories, <clears throat> excuse me, the different categories they have set up for these labels. Now, as, as for this being an example, sorry about that, I'm actually just going to go ahead and pick out one of these. You have birthday labels. You even have beer bottles. If you're a microbrewery or if you're starting a microbrewed business and you're looking for labels and printing them yourself, you could save a fortune by using OnlineLabels.com because, like I said, the ones that we print here uh, in our facility, uh, a, they range between about 3 to $0.04 cents on the low end and on the high end, like $0.08 cents each. The, that even includes uh, glossy labels that look amazing and professional. And we also just print them as we need them, which is another money saver, and I'm going to dive into that in a couple seconds. Now, let's go ahead and get the barbecue sauce. This actually sounds pretty interesting here. Fantastic. Okay. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is I have already in stock here, I've got a three-inch circular round label. So I'm going to go ahead and tap into that because I actually have it on hand. I'll go ahead and print you one, and then we'll use that. So you have all these different shades, four by three. Um, you also have circular ones, two and a half by two, two and a half inches, four by three, um, <clears throat> rectangular, excuse me, guys. Now, we're going to go ahead and click on this one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make actually an example, as I showed you in the picture, we're going to do an example of a, of a peanut, just a, uh, one of the nuts, a roasted nut that we have on hand. And I'm going to just show you the variations, the different ways that you can edit all of this. So let's start at the top. When you want to select a specific part of the label, simply click on it. Now you're going to see these boxes with these squares show up. These can be used to resize any part or any aspect of this label. Okay. And let me show you what I mean. You can enlarge the pig and then pick him up and then move him around, or you can shrink it. Now, you don't have to have the pig. You can also incorporate, if you want, you can add your own graphic, or if you've got a logo, you can simply delete this, hit delete, and it's gone. Okay? Now, you can right up here, you can also, all right, so as I was mentioning, so you can actually um, undo this up here with this feature. Simply press undo and you can bring that back, okay? So the top portion of it, totally, again, customizable. And then as you line it up, by the way, you'll notice this blue dotted line. That's going to appear in the center so it shows you the image or the part of the label that you're moving, when and where is it centered. There it is, and then it goes off center, and then back again, okay? So you don't have to eye this by yourself. Everything is pre-made for you, okay? All right, so let's hop down here. So. I highlighted this text. Let me show you. See the text there it comes right out of the box. I want to go ahead and edit it. Now, once you highlight this, you're going to see a little blue text that says edit text. The blinking cursor is to the right, so we can go ahead and back this up, backspace, and we can delete it. Let's just put uh, bacon barbecued nuts. Okay. And again, this is just as an example, guys. So there we go. Now that was another thing. Where's the text lined up? Obviously it's not lined up there because we don't see the blue. There's the blue line. Now that's going to be the center point when you have your text all set, okay? So when you're done, just click done and you're, you're done. You can click out to the side and you're all set, okay? Next up, signature blend. I kind of actually like the way that looks. I'm gonna leave that there, but let me show you how we change the color and the font. That looks really cool, but it's a little hard to read, okay? So let me show you over here. On this side, you once you highlight a text, you can actually <clears throat> customize the text font style, the size, whether it's bold, everything about it. So let's do that. Let's click this drop-down menu. Here are all the different types of fonts. And again, Online Labels has hooked this up tremendously well because they've got such a vast variety. It's crazy. And it's really cool, actually, is the, the text shows you. A lot of, of these programs don't do this. But the text actually shows you what it looks like without you kind of having guessing it. And I've worked with programs where it drives me nuts because some of them don't show you exactly the style of the text. 
This literally shows you in the li in the listing how it looks. It's very simple, super simple, guys. So let's just find one that's really easy to read. Okay, han handling. Let's go ahead and click on that. See how it changed? Now you're thinking, oh, it's kind of small. How do I enlarge the text? Okay, font size right here. You want to simply just click it a few times. You see it starting, see it starting to move and get bigger. Okay. And again, you can change the color. Where? Font color here. Click on that. You're going to see the drop down menu. Let's make it uh, bacon. Let's see. What's the color of bacon? Like a brown color. Let's just do this one. Okay. Now, when you select the color you like, it's going to show up right here. It's actually going to show you what the current color is and then the one you chose. Once you like it, hit OK and the color changes. That's it, guys. Very, again, not to be redundant, but it is very, very simple. <laughs> Um, and thanks to their program being this easy. It, you can make a fantastic, professional-looking, literally a retail-ready packaging with this simple program. And it's absolutely free. They don't charge you for this at all, by the way. Just got to sit down, dedicate yourself to learning the program really quick. I, it, literally within a couple of hours, honestly, I know that you guys can learn how to use this, and you'll be making amazing labels without paying a graphic designer and costing a fortune. All right, so let's go here and let's change this one. All right. So we have this different text. Let's change this one up one more time again. And let's do this one. All right, fantastic. See that there? Now let's go ahead and change the color. You can make it blue. And again, shows you the current color and then gives you the new one. Let's hit OK. Boom, it's done. Now, you can also, you can also change the size of this without having to use the font size um, up and down here. Take this one of these boxes, once you click on it and hold it down, you can actually move it. And then again, there it is. There's the line. It's centered. Okay. And then you can come back over here and shrink it down. Fantastic. Very easy to do. And then click outside the, the actual label and you're done. Now, I like to look at this, but I do want to change this, though, the net weights. So, so let's just make the bag 8 ounces. Okay. So again, click Edit Text. Super simple, guys. Click inside the box right next to the number or wherever you want. Backspace so it eliminates it and then go 8 ounces. Now this one I want to increase the size so it's a little, there you go. It's a little easier to see. Now, can I move the box around, Damien? Yes, you can do whatever you want. Again, hold it down and then move it up and down wherever you want to put it. You can put it up here, you can put it down. Of course, the bulk of food products in general for the size of the packaging is always going to be right here. I like it right there. Fantastic. All right, release, and you're all set. Now, that's what you got, right? So here's something that's really amazing about this program. Not only do they have the preset templates, but as I mentioned in the opening of the video, I have a three inch round label. I do not have a two and a half inch. Now, can I change that, Damien? Yes, you actually can. So let me show you this really cool trick. Let me make sure my printer is loaded. Yes, it is loaded. Okay, fantastic. Um, we're gonna go ahead and change. So hit change. You guys see this menu, changing your template may require a manual job. Yes, go ahead and hit yes. Now up here in the box, you're gonna type in specifically the, the label that you have. So if you don't have that size, which I don't, I'm gonna type in the code. I'm just looking back here on my board for, there it is. So this is the one I have in stock. Let me click on it. Now watch what happens. Now see right up here, sorry about that. Here we go. See this right here? It went to the three inch. You see, circular three inch. So it's enlarged and it adjusts itself here and you're all set to go. Okay. Now, now that we have that, you're thinking, well, you know what? I don't need to print up a page of six if I have, how can I change that? Okay, so over here you have four different types of features available through the program on onlinelabels.com. So you want to hit multi-design you're going to see this pop up. You have six. Edit layout, right? Now, two boxes, this one and this one. When this was clicked, all of these are going to print because it's red. Now, I only need one for this de 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 demonstration, so let me just show you one. So I'm going to click blank. Now I'm going to drag on the ones that are highlighted because I don't want those to print and then release. Don't want those to print and release. I'm just going to do one. Cool? Okay. Very easy. So then you want to update it. Always update it. Okay? That way it knows only to print one, not six. So I love the way it looks. Take one more look at it. Make sure it looks good. Let me show you really quick too here. I believe. 
Can we change the color on that? I don't think so. No, okay. So that is all set. Now it's going to print the three inch round. By the way, these are the labels that cost me about five, I think it's five and a half, six cents. Um, you get these custom made like by Avery, Vista Print, and these other companies. I can easily tell you three inch size of this with color, you're looking at about 35 to 40 cents. And you're probably thinking, well, that doesn't sound very expensive. Yeah, it actually it is. Whenever you start printing up a thousand of them on your products, a thousand of them at thirty cents is a big difference compared to about five to six or seven cents. Okay, so take your cursor. Now you want to print it. Very easy. Again, put it over top. You'll see a drop down menu. Print now. Yes, and then you want to download and print, and then simply open up the file and watch this. This is going to be awesome. So we're going to go ahead and print. And that is absolutely it. Very, very, very simple. So utilizing their different templates is going to save you a ridiculous amount of time. Okay? And that's it. That's all there is to it. Super, super simple, guys. It's literally a few steps. Now, let me show you one other way, again, that you can change this, which is really, really cool. You, you have a circular label. So let's say you like a template that is circular, and you're thinking, Daniel, well, I, I want to print it in a rectangle, maybe square. Can I change the whole shape of it? Watch this. You want to do yes? All right, and let's type, let's type in, I'm looking at my board back here really quick with my codes. Okay, there it is. That's, this is another one that we use. Boom. Look at how easy that is. Okay? So what you can do here is exactly the same thing. You can enlarge everything if you want. That's up to you. Okay, again, the pig, you can make him big, make sure he's lined up, bam. And then you can pull all of this down. So let's say I start from here. Pull it down. Now this one here is all individual lines. So you can pull the lines down, pull the text, and then, and then again, drag all this down, and then you can enlarge it. Very, well, that's a little too big. There we go. Very simple. So that way you can literally manipulate the shape of the label. Just so you know, there's not a lot of companies out there that even have a program close to this because you have to stay within the shape of the label. This will give you an opportunity to, again, fix a, the, pro, the proper label to the shape of the bottle, the bag. You may not need a round. Maybe you want a rectangle. Maybe you want a square. You can do any size as long as it's obviously within your system. Okay? So... Easy enough, that is one of the quickest and fastest ways to create your own, okay? So those are the steps, step by step. You can manipulate anything they have already on there. You can accommodate your own shape. Make sure that you have the right material of the actual label itself. I prefer, by the way, if you're going to do this and you buy them from onlinelabels.com, get the glossy ones because they're super professional looking. Uh, we use some mats uh, on, on a couple of our items, but the glossy far outweighs any of the other ones. The quality, it looks professionally made and professionally done, um, and, and it's super, super simple. So, Now, the other thing I was going to mention is the great thing about having control over the labels you print is that by going to onlinelabels.com, using their program, you could print what you need. And Now, as a small business, a really quick business tip, don't pre-buy 1,000, 10,000, 5,000 labels if you're not going to use them because then money is sitting there on the shelf and you have, a pro you have a bunch of labels that you're not even using, okay? So keep that in mind. One of the benefits to this is maintaining uh, your cash flow. And by not uh, locking a bunch of your money up in labels that you don't need exactly this moment, I that's why we do it here in-house in our facility. We just go ahead and just print them up as we need them. And I don't waste the money on it. So that's another big, big plus. It's something that we learned over the years. When I first did this, I actually was not with online labels. I didn't buy labels from them at the time. This was quite a few years ago, um, and I was buying them online pre-made, and I had stacks of them sitting there, and I'm thinking, geez, I literally paid like a couple hundred dollars for these labels, and they're, they're just tied up money. Print what you need. It's just common sense. It just makes sense, you know? So I hope that helps you guys out. And if you have questions about onlinelabels.com, I'll put a link down, by the way, in the description. You can click on the website and go over there and, and order some labels and check them out for yourself. If you have any questions about how this works, too, simply just ask me, guys. I'll be there to help you guys out. I'll answer the questions as soon as I can. So, 